the star isolation falls to temporarily isolate the two batteries to protect the sensitive electronic loads in the, in the house battery. So as you can see now, these two batteries are combined by the VSR due to the high voltage shear. But if we connect the SI port to the star terminal on the key switch, when we crank the engine, which means that we start the engine, it will force to isolate the two batteries. If you need to completely shut down the SID VSR with zero power consumption, connect a switch in between the ground terminal and the ground. So once you turn the switch off, it will cut out the power of the VSR. This way, no power is consumed for long-term storage. You can also connect an external LED to your front panel. So your VSR is in the engine chamber and then you need a panel to monitor the VSR in your dashboard. You can connect the LED negative port to the external LED in your dashboard and then you can monitor the VSR status in real time. So this LED is synchronized with the LED in the SID VSR. You can manually control the SI VSR with an external switch. So connect the manual port here to the middle terminal of an on-off-on switch. And then connect the other two terminals to, to the ground and to DC positive respectively. So if the switch turns to the ground terminal, it will manually isolate the two batteries. On the other hand, if the switch turns to the other end, that connects to the middle terminal to the DC positive. It will force to combine these two batteries. So this manually override switch can manually combine or isolate the two batteries. So finally, the ABE mode means the optional auxiliary battery charging extension feature that allows extra time charging the second battery when the engine idling by dropping the open voltage to a lower 12.25 volt. So for example, in a normal setting, when the voltage drops below 12.8 volt, it will isolate the two batteries. As you can see, it's now separated the two batteries here because this battery is below 12.8 volt. But if we connect the ABE terminal to DC positive, and when we turn it below 12.8 volt, it will not disconnect the two batteries. So the, the isolate voltage is lower when the ABE is activated so that the second battery has a longer time of charging when the engine is idling and the engine voltage is not as high. The two process means that the VSR now senses the voltage that determines whether you should turn combine or isolate on both ports here. So it does not only sense the voltage at the engine or star battery's end, it, it now also sense the voltage at the housing and the low end. If we rise the voltage here to above 13.3 volt, it will also combine these two batteries. This is especially useful when you have an alternative power source at the low side. For example, a PV solar panel, or other ways of power generator at the low terminals. So you can see now it combines here as well. The VSR also works for 24 volt, so it will automatically detect if it's in a 24 volt or 12 volt system. And the combined and isolate voltage is basically double the voltage for the 12 volt systems. For example, the combined voltage for 24 volt system is 26.6 volt. See, now it combines the two batteries in the 24 volt system. And when it is below 25.6 volt, which is the double of 12.8 volt, it will disconnect the two batteries. As you can see now, it separated two batteries in the 24 volt system. There is also low voltage and high voltage warning. So if the system voltage it detects is at 
and unreasonable voltage. For example, 60 volt or 70 volt, which is no not possible in both in either 12 volt or 24 volt system, and you will see the, the LED blinking. When it is below, it's, it also blinks. So there are different LED signs for different situations, low voltage or high voltage or system malfunctions.